everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a great day. How cute is this little coffee mug cover that Ella made me for Mother's Day? I'm actually so impressed with it. She's been doing crochet and she made this for me. So I'm just having a wee tea and I thought I would sit down and show you everything that I've picked up over the last month or so in Primark. Now I've been desperate to do this little haul for ages, but sometimes when I've got my hair back and I'm not really like kind of feeling myself, I kind of feel as if I don't really want to try the clothes on. So I'm thinking what I could potentially do is do this in two parts, filming wise. So I'm going to record all the stuff that I've got and then maybe do the try on separately and then kind of like interlink it into the video because otherwise this stuff will literally sit in a bag and then slowly make its way into my cupboard and the haul will never come, which is what usually happens. So let us get into it. If you're new around here and you've not seen me before, then welcome. My name is Ash. I'm a mum of two. I've got a little girl who's eight and a son who's seven. So some stuff in this haul is going to be for them as well. We're also due to go on holiday really soon. So we've got some bits for there as well to take on holiday. And yeah, I'm going to just show you what we've got. If you've not seen me in a while as well, just to say hello and thanks for sticking around. I know I've not been making very many videos recently, but I think I've been focusing on a lot of things like TikTok, Instagram, my podcast, loads of other stuff's been going on. So I want to start making my YouTube videos again because I really miss making them. And it's a nice wee time to just sit down, have a chat, speak to you guys in the comments and show you some things that I have just really been interested in, whether it's clothes, makeup, fashion stuff food whatever it may be um but yeah let's get into it and i'll show you what i got in the last month or so in primark i'll try and remember all the prices if i can if you listen to my podcast you'll know that i am absolutely obsessed with peppermint tea just now there's something about it i just i can't get enough i cannot get enough of it i'm obsessed mm. so so good where do we start? Shall I start with my most recent outfit? I'll insert a picture on screen just now so you can see it, but it is this absolutely gorgeous blush pink cord. It's not even just a cord, it's like several different pieces. So you can get the trousers, you can get the skirt. It does look like a skirt, but it is actually shorts, which is great when things are pretty short because you want to have coverage. And it's also a waistcoat and there's a jacket. So there's all different parts to it. Now they did have this as well in powder blue. So if pink's not really your thing, then maybe you would quite like the powder blue one. Let me get it to show you. How absolutely gorgeous is this? I'm honestly obsessed with it. So I got the jacket in a medium. It's quite a boxy fit. It doesn't really come in at the waist. So I did actually buy a large and then I went back and took it back for the medium just to have it a wee bit more fitted. I will eventually change these buttons just because at the time I wanted to make them into pearl buttons and I couldn't find any ones in time that I liked but I will actually change that wee button in future and the ones on the waistcoat. So the jacket was £22 I'm sure and then you've got the waistcoat underneath which I just love the fact I can wear this separately like I will wear that jacket with jeans and like a t-shirt underneath it just like a normal wee sort of top like this not wearing it as a whole like set. But to get the whole thing was just really good to have. So got the waistcoat, which I think is so, so sweet. Really nicely shaped. I got that in a large because the medium just wouldn't fit across the bust. Um, and then I got the skirt. Now, I think that the waistcoat was 12 and so were the shorts. I'm almost certain. But it's such a good wee deal. And these shorts, by the way, are skirts, which I got in a 14. Are so, so nice. They've got that nice sort of like wrap over detail, which I think is very Zara-esque, isn't it? Um, and at the back, as I said, it is a pair of shorts. So for your modesty, you can definitely cut about knees and bend over, not need to worry about flashing everybody when you're wearing these. So I absolutely love that. And in fact, see if they have this in more colours, like I said, that powder blue, it is worthwhile for things in the future. I just think it's so nice. I wore that to an event. It was like an awards ceremony I was at. And I wore it with a pair of heels and bag, also from Primark, so the full fit, including the uh, earrings and everything, were all from Primark. So I think the whole thing in total cost me, I'll show you in a second actually, because then I can add it up. So I got the jacket, the waistcoat, and the skirt, and then I paired it with these shoes, because I was kind of going for a vintage bathroom look. I know that's magic, but I'm very into the whole 50s style of fashion just now not really showing it that much in my clothing but like my pinterest board would say otherwise so let me show you these shoes see these shoes i've got them in red as well and i got them in sale they're down to three pounds just now not in this color in red and i wore them to the podcast show that we did in glasgow in december and i swear to god they're the comfiest shoes i think i've ever ever worn the heel size isn't too big it's nice and blocky these are 12 pounds full price 
12 pounds how good is that and they're kind of like spongy now i don't know if you remember but a few years ago i got a pair of shoes from zara they're my favorite black shoes ever and they're just basically like a kind of similar shape basically to this but these parts here are like a black perspex sort of like plastic and then the heel is like a smoked perspex heel and that style of shoe for me it just makes my leg look a lot longer and it's just really really comfy i love the two straps on it and my toes in the exact same color as this which was cool and this team with the pink i just thought was a bit of a vibe so i did really like it and then if that wasn't good enough i managed to also find a bag in there that goes with this right beside each other they are a different color one is lighter than the other obviously but when one's up here and a pair on your feet like it, they really do look like they match so the bag i want to say was a tenner really nice the same kind of vibe it does look leather it's obviously not but it has got that kind of leather look just because it's not too shiny padded little bag it's got wee tiny bits of gold hardware and i just kind of held it with the small strap although it does have a big one as well if you wanted to use that but it's actually a good wee spacious bag and then i think they also had this in black as well and potentially white um, but their whole like kind of accessories range just now seems to be really really good but yeah i love that i thought what a nice outfit together to have these wee shoes that bag and then the three-piece skirt suit really really cool and I felt really nice in it so thanks for all the nice comments that everyone put on Instagram that day when I posted the, the outfit because I've not really got properly dressed up for ages so yeah I really liked wearing that and I felt really nice in it which is like the most important thing isn't it. Sometimes I quite like being able to wear some of my stuff and then explain whether it was good, bad or indifferent when I've worn it from Primark because sometimes it is a case of like time will tell when you wear things so I cannot believe the quality of this. Another outfit actually that I did put on my Instagram and it's this little gym set. See when I say these feel like butter soft. They are the softest leggings potentially ever. These leggings here, I got them in a size medium which is coming up as a 12 to 14. So these are the ones, they're kind of like a, a charcoal grey. Really nice stretchy legging. Come up nice and high at your waist um, but really hold you in nicely. Like a second skin is the best way I can describe this. So this is the legging, which was, I think, £12 or £10 was it? I think it was £10 and then the top was 8 So in total, less than 20 for the matching wee t-shirt and leggings from Primark. So, so good. Um, I have actually wore this, so if there's any marks on it, then that'll be why. <laughs> because I was going to just show you it quickly before I put it down for a wash. But I just think that is such a nice little base layer to wear. With things like leather jackets, blazers... You know, just something for like general day-to-day -day wear. And nice to have something that's not black. So, although they do have it in black. But yeah, that's a really nice wee set. Um, and good for basics. I think trying to get good gym basics that are not see-through is a challenge. But they've certainly upped their game with a lot of their new fitness wear. And let's face it, see when you have nice kind of like, I'm, I'm wearing it casually, right? But if I was to wear it to the gym, I feel as if it's more motivating to have nice workout clothes to wear. So definitely worthwhile going and getting yourself some and I did pair it with a wee blazer and a pair of New Balance trainers. This is the blazer I paired it with which I actually got in the sale for I think it was five pounds. Five like it was something like less than ten, less than ten pounds anyway. This is it here. Now if you see me in a blazer best believe that apart from one that I have they're all from Primark. Every blazer I have is from there. I've got a black one, a white one, I've got a kind of like beige coloured one I've got this one, I've got the pink one. This is so nice. This is just a normal workwear blazer. They've not got it as their sort of like casual range, but it's so nice. It's actually it's sort of like double breasted at the bottom. If I was to button that across, you can see it's double breasted. And I got this in a size 16. But I absolutely love that. And that colour grey is so handy to have just to kind of make your outfit feel a wee bit more put together. And quite often I'll just wear leggings, top blazer trainers and it looks like you've made a big effort when really you've absolutely not such a good wee outfit and i definitely rate the blazers they're really good and this is the little leggings set oh my god see if you felt these these are like buttery soft leggings so so smooth really nice and thick fabric but they literally feel like 
a second skin. I've heard a lot of people comparing this material to the skims material and I've never tried skims but I can imagine if this is what they feel like then people would be pretty happy because they're just so luxurious. And then teamed with this little jacket which again was on the sale I just think is such a good wee combo. It's very much like put together but like ridiculously comfy. The another thing I got in the sale which I've not wore yet but I do still have the ticket on it. It was £6 down from 28 and it is this wee pea coat. Now, we we'll put it on because I just think it's so nice. It's navy and I'll properly try it on in the mirror so you can see it but got this like double breasted lapel situation and gold buttons which I just think is so nice but for £6, like seriously, how good is that? What a nice wee jacket, who would have thought? And it just looks so smart. It's something nice about having navy as well as opposed to black. Because apparently, after me having my colour analysis done, I apparently don't suit black. So, it's giving me a complex and <laughs> I need to wear more navy. So, I thought that would be a really good wee shout. And the fact that it was in the sale rail. Like, honestly, do not overlook the sale rail in Primark because you can actually get some really good bargains. Another wee kind of like workwear looking thing is the same score but in grey. This was £12, same as the other one but just in the grey colour. Now I thought this would be really really cute on holiday. I know it's like a kind of workwear material but I imagine this with just a wee white t-shirt tucked in and some trainers. I just thought it'd be really cute for night time just as a wee different kind of look. Um, and even here I just think wouldn't it be nice right? Now, I don't really get dressed up, dressed up during the week, right? But if I was going out for like a lunch, wouldn't it be nice to have that with wee slouchy socks and loafers and then a nice knitted jumper over the top, maybe a wee collar underneath. So, so cute. And I just thought with that colour would be really handy to have. So I like that and I definitely feel like I'd wear it more casual. In fact, you know what? I would probably wear it with really thin tights as well. My loafers and then that wee navy jacket with a t-shirt tucked in, even a stripy t-shirt. Kind of like Parisian vibes. Now, albeit this was not the little shirt that I did have in mind, I had a white one, but I do like the idea of bringing in a little bit of blue considering I'm going to pair it with this little jacket. And I've also got these really old loafers from Matalan that I got, I think maybe two years ago. Just plain black with a little buckle at the front. So let's fire them on. Oh, I feel like I'm going to school. And then I've got the jacket, but it gives me the same look as a skirt. Skorts are so good. Why are we not always just wearing skorts instead of skirts? It doesn't make sense. And then this jacket is elite. I just think that is so lovely. You know, just like team together with that blue stripe. How gorgeous. What an absolute bargain. And as an outfit, I'm definitely into this. I needed a whole bunch of basics, right? Because I've got a couple of really nice pairs of jeans now that actually fit me. But kind of struggling for tops and I quite like a long sleeve top just because it's still cold here and also I don't really like my arms that much. I know they're out today and I'm very aware of it but I wanted some long sleeve bodies just because it's easy right. So I've got this one here, these were both £10. This colour here apparently is a colour that really suits me according to my colour analysis. So I thought I'll go for this sort of like petrol grey blue tone it's meant to be one that picks up my skin tone quite nicely so I got that I thought perfect colour it's just a body with long sleeves and it'd be good for underneath wearing with my like jeans and stuff like that so I got this colour and then I also got the same one in the dusky pink because again this is meant to be a colour that suits me that kind of heather pink is meant to be one of my wild wow colours from my colour analysis so I got that one as well. Again, £10 each. I thought that was actually really good. And it's actually beautiful material. like really nice, thick, ribbed material um, that I think will last a long time. I'm trying to buy things for my wardrobe that aren't like super fast fashion that I'm going to like wear for one year and then get rid of. I actually want things that are going to be basics that I can keep for like a lot of time. And then another wee one that I got was short sleeve. Now, I don't know if this cut is very flattering on me just because it's round necked and short sleeved. Sometimes to make me feel a bit booby, but I got the little beige one as well, which I thought would be good for every day. Just wearing underneath, not underneath, but wearing with 
nice like kind of wig leg trousers and stuff handy to have and I'm sure that one was eight pounds that was a wee bit less because it's got the shorter sleeve on it now I have tried these on but they're too big they're quite baggy around here and just not very good fit and I'm annoyed because I've actually taken the label off that one there I'm hoping I can maybe try and drink it in the washing machine or just use it for like more just casual like in the house with joggies kind of thing but I was really hoping these were going to be quite snug so that I could wear them underneath when I wear jeans and stuff but they end up just kind of like gathering at the sides here and not looking very flattering. What else did I get? Because I got another couple of things. I got socks, just wee sports socks. These were £4 for three pairs and they actually look good quality, like a good strong kind of like heel on them. I can't bear the socks that I've got just now. I've been like getting rid of them all because they keep bursting and I keep getting holes in them so I thought let's get some new wee sports kind of ankle socks. And then I also got this t-shirt, right, which I feel is majorly overlooked. I'm going to try and see if I've got other ones in this particular fabric, right, because this one here is just a wee grey tee, but I've worn this about five times since I got it. And I know it's a wee bit crushed, but it comes up like brand new every time. I do think t-shirts and basics like this are just, like, they're major staples in your wardrobe, so getting the right type of ones is so important. That one there, it's cropped and boxy. Uh, but the actual way the fabric hangs, it doesn't feel like it was a fiver. So if they've got this in white, then I'm definitely going to go and get a few more for having this everyday basics. And I wore that with these jockeys, which I was really not having high hopes for. I thought these were going to be a pair for the house, but let me just say, these are really, really good. They were £6, right? I got them in a medium. And because they're not super, super thick, I thought they would look a bit lifeless or not they're really good so it's these light grey joggies with a wee cuff at the bottom I wore them with a pair of New Balance trainers and actually I think I wore them with a blazer as well at one point so that was a nice wee outfit so I've worn them probably about three times and I've washed them and they're not bobbly so they're a definite winner for me love them and I thought while I'm there I'll get the matching hoodie which I've not worn yet and um, I think the hoodie I got in a large maybe and it was eight pounds, so six for the bottoms and eight for the top. The hoodie's not got a massively thick hood, but as a wee layering piece, sometimes you don't want that. I think that's really nice, and it's a nice length. It's got the big pocket at the front, just a standard hoodie. Um, but for eight pounds, I'm probably going to wear this travelling to go on holiday. It's a nice wee airport outfit, something definitely cosy that I can then wear at night in the villa that we're staying in, so that I've got something that I can wear outside when it's a bit chillier at night and sit and have a wee drink and stuff. Okay, so here is the little top on. I actually really love this, it's nice material and it comes up nice and cropped. And then we've got the joggers on. Now these are a bit thinner than what I would typically buy for joggies, but I quite like the fact that they are a bit more tapered. Definitely putting on a cap because I always wear a hat on when I'm wearing my joggies. And then let's go for the hoodie and a leather jacket. Okay, and here is the fully styled tracksuit together. I've got it on with a pair of this campus. I've got just kind of all black and white kind of grey vibes, just kind of more monochrome. So I've got the little hoodie on underneath my leather jacket and I'm actually glad that it is as thin as this. I feel like because it's thin, it's not feeling bulky, especially when it comes to layering and the weather getting a little bit warmer. I don't want to be feeling like claustrophobic. I don't know if anyone else gets that, but that is how I feel when I wear clothes that are like too bulky and I just feel like quite big and boxy. So really liking this. This is just probably like an everyday kind of outfit for me. Top tip by the way, see if you're going to wear collars or anything that's quite close to your makeup. And I do have like a lot of foundation on today. Do this. Got to be here. Spray, spray it all in here. Let it dry and I'm promising you now your makeup won't transfer. It's like the biggest game changing hack to ever exist. A lot more here than I thought. Right, earrings wise, I did get these pearl ones that I'm wearing just now, which have got all different sizes. They're over there and there's actually like different variations. There's smaller ones of these and then those ones are the biggest that they have. Two pounds for the pack, but I also got this sort of like Diamante version of them. So these were two pounds and again, as you can see, all different sizes. I've got multiple piercings in my ears, so quite good having all different wee sizes and also because I've got Ella as well, sometimes she wants the same ones as me. So these do look like every single one is a different size rather than having multiples of the same. So 
I think they'll be really nice as a wee blingy earring on holiday when it's nice and sunny. And I also got, so they were £2 and I also got a silver necklace. Apparently, after my colour analysis, I have not to wear gold. I'm a silver girl apparently, so I'm not really getting any silver jewellery. So I got a silver necklace, it's the Paula Erch... don't even know... El I don't even know. I'm not even going to try. I was going to try and pronounce it. I don't know how you say her name. Um, but it's like a collab with Primark. I don't know who the, the designer or the, the Instagram person is. Um, but that was 4 50 for that wee chain, which I thought would be good. See, for things like this, when I really probably should have something a bit more interesting going on up here, that wee chain would be perfect. Um, and I've got loads of wee dresses and stuff that I've already got. I've not bought a whole load of stuff for going on holiday, I have to say, because I've got things from last year that I can wear sensible heads. Um, but wee bits of jewellery like that is good for sort of jazzing it up. Right, what I did want to get for wearing with things like that wee skirt is a jumper. Now I've not taken the tags off this and I do still have the receipt and I might take it back. So we'll see how I feel about it once I try it on. But I did have on a wee skirt last week with this and it looked really nice. But I do think it does verge on the autumn winter for me. I'm not sure. I got it in a medium. It's £15. But I don't know. I'm thinking maybe over the shoulder or... You know, just over wee dresses maybe. We'll try it and see, but I do still have my reservations. Unless I can make it fit with things that I already have, then I'm not keeping it because it's a waste to do that. But I also got this one as well, so I was wanting a wee cardigan. Um, and uh, again, I'm not really sure on this. This was a last minute decision. Had to leave in five minutes for school pick up and thought, right, just take it just now. It is just a basic ribbed grey cardigan, but I was thinking it would be quite nice if I wore it with jeans. But kind of open at the bottom. Unsure because I've not actually tried it on yet. So we'll see what happens. This was only £8. It might be a good wee layer to have on holiday. Or even to wear with my joggies. Maybe quite nice. We'll wait and see. But just a wee normal cardigan. Long sleeved. Um, and I got it in a medium. So we'll see. We'll see how that one is. But I think that's everything apart from some travel bottles. Which I already, oh, I already got more of these today. I didn't realise I had these. So now let's try this with a jumper. I just think this little kind of, like, do you call that a popcorn stitch jumper? Just because it's got all the little loops on it, is that right? I think I might be talking rubbish. But this little jumper might be quite nice over the top of this. Now either, 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 either. Just over the shoulders, it's quite cute. That is quite preppy and cute, but we could also do the jumper actually on. I like having the collar fully buttoned up to the neck. I think that's so much nicer. And then I just gently tucked in the waistband or like the band at the bottom of this jumper into the little skirt. And I've also pulled the cuff out from the shirt just at the wee sleeve there. I think that's quite nice. Just as a wee extra layer and in fact, as much as I like this little combination together, especially matching or clashing the grey and the sort of beige colour together, I do think that would also be quite nice with jeans. So, another wee idea. Are you still with me? This is quite a long haul. Some days I wonder if I actually got enough to do a haul with. Yes, I have, the answer is. Right, now I've not got that much for Charlie because we did a big Zara order for him at the start of the year and to be honest, I probably could have done a wee haul with that. Some of the things they got are beautiful, but we did see another few wee bits when we were in, including this wee Lakers tee. How nice is that? Is that not Zara-esque? It's got the Lakers in the back, and it's got the Lakers in the front, and it was £8, sorry, £9. It's the official NBA badge, so got that for him. Just thought it'd be really nice in holiday with these wee black shorts. And it's a nice sort of like acid washout sort of vibe, which I, I do like. I think it's nice. So I got him that. And then I've been looking for these forever, right? These wee mules. They are a size bigger than he actually is. But see these wee sort of like um, Birkenstock mules. How unbelievably good are they? You can see there's a red sticker on it. That's because I got them in the sale. These were £3. £3. They are a size 3. He is a 2. I don't know if they're going to fit him or not, but I think by summer they will. How cool are they? Just imagine them with these wee chino shorts and a nice wee top underneath with an open shirt. Cool vibes. All about it. These are memory foam and they were originally £6. So to start with they weren't expensive and I got them for a bargain. So what more can you ask for? 
absolutely love these. Then, for any mums who find it difficult to get plain swimming shorts, our hopes and wishes have been answered. These were only £3, black swim shorts, just all plain, especially good. See if you were someone maybe getting married this year and you were going abroad and you want to do some personalisation and stuff. These are great. Charlie had a wee pair of swim shorts that had CR on them, like his initials, when he was younger. They were embroidered and they were so smart. So see if you're maybe having like a wedding abroad and you've got your wee kid that's going, you can do that with these. They've got a wee palm tree on them. That's it. Nice and plain. That's what he likes. Sweet pair, wee pair of plain shorts. <laughs> very hard to say. And then this, I was very impressed with, right? This wee top, which I would quite like for me to be honest. Um, it's like a knitted, super thin knit t-shirt. Very like the next ones that you get, the kind of cords of. This was three pounds. Three pounds. I got them in a nine to ten because this look quite small made. But how lovely. A wee mustard t-shirt. Just for wearing with these chino shorts, which by the way, I have not got how many. <laughs> I've just realised I need to buy a pair of chino shorts before we go away. But how lovely. I absolutely love that wee top. Nice wee mustard stripey one and I just think when he's got his tan and he's wearing his wee Ray-Ban glasses and all that, he's going to look so cute. Uh, I can't wait. But that's what I got for Charlie. Not an awful lot, but the stuff was really good and the prices were fantastic. Moving on to Ella. She was with me and she had money to spend, so she's got a few things at herself. These shorts with the cherries on them. How nice are these? Got them in a 10 to 11. The fit on them's perfect. Quite a A-line shape, so quite tight at the waist and then sort of like skirts out which I love. She's got a pair from Zara that were like that last year and they don't fit her anymore. So these have been a very, very, very good replacement. Cherries on it are embroidered. How sweet are they? And they were £10. Very, very well priced. And the shape and length of them are really good. So very much into that. And she'll probably wear these with a top like this. So she got these wee crop tops, which are actually from the adult section, right? I get her in the 2XS, like double extra small. Perfect. Literally perfect. These wee rib tops are £3. So she got the white and she also got the sort of tealy green colour, well sagey green. Perfect for on holiday. I Absolutely ideal just for putting on with shorts. And they're such lovely fabric. They're stretchy but ribbed and they're nice and long. They're not too short. So she got both of these and they were £3 each. They actually do have matching shorts, but they never had like a double extra small for her to buy. But don't like rule out the adult sizes for the kids in Primark. See, because it's notoriously small made, you can usually get the double extra small for usually around an age 9, 10 um, kid. And a lot of the mums at the dancing do that as well with the jammies. So that's how I knew about it. Now moving on, I've got this wee top for her. I really like it, it's long sleeved, but it's a beautiful fabric, really, really stretchy. I don't really know what you call this, but can you see how it's a wee bit see-through? Absolutely gorgeous, and I loved the design on it. See the way that it's sort of like that raw edge? Really nice. This was £7, um, and it's in a 10 to 11, and I just thought that would be really nice to see when we come back. And it's maybe warm enough to wear legs out, but maybe you want something on the arms. That'd be nice with the shorts as well. She got these wee socks, she wanted new ones, and I was convinced they were teddy bears, but she's right, they're cockapoos. See if you're a cockapoo mum, you need to get these, how, how cute are they? Unbelievably cute, there's big ones, there's plain ones, there's ones that are peach with cockapoos, another plain pair, and then a big cockapoo one. Oh, I've made me watch how I'm saying that. Um, but, how unbelievably cute, seven pairs of trader socks they are, um, for... Three pounds! Seven pairs for three pounds. That's amazing and they feel so soft. Lovely colours, nice and neutral and she loves them. Talk about neutral. She got these glasses. They're not really for me but she looks really cool wearing them. I'm sure they were like two quid but she absolutely loves them. Very much her style. This I found in the sale and was very, very, very happy with it. So she were going to go and see Olivia Rodrigo and this felt for me a very Olivia jacket. So I'm sure this is in a big size, I think it's a 12 to 13, very oversized fit but it's kind of like a brown black, can you see that? It's sort of like distressed. This jacket was in the sale for a tenner. Now I'm not even joking when I say that this bomber jacket was in Zara and it was like £25 in the sale. How unbelievably good was that? I, honestly, I'm so happy that we got it because it's perfect. She had this on with a denim skirt and a wee kind of like tan coloured um, cardigan and it looked so cool. She had Doc Martens on and I think that's the kind of outfit she wants to wear to the concert. So 
got that for her and she was buzzing and then this is the skirt that we got her to go with it this is also in sale this was down to a fiver it's so good it's in an age 11 to 12 which we're going to take on holiday again with her it's just a long denim skirt with a split and see this with our Doc Martens in that jacket it's so so cool so I absolutely love that and the fact we managed to get it in the sale was great but that denim skirt would also be gorgeous with this little jumper that she got now again it's something that she's already worn so I can't remember how much it was but if I was to guess I think it was a tenner she got it in an 11 to 12 and it's this wee chevron knitted jumper now I always get the kids to take a knitted jumper or some kind of sweatshirt on holiday just because it can get quite windy at night time so this is going to be her wee one that she takes with her and I just think it's so cute it's quite beachy because it has that kind of like you know straw like open crochet look but wouldn't have minded it for myself to be honest so I got her that and then what was the other things these shorts she loves these she's very much into the Nike pros at the moment and I know a lot of the kids her age group are so these are the adults double extra small cycling I mean they're tiny cycling shorts and they're in the cream colour so she got those to go with the other wee tops that she got and I'm sure these were like a fiver really really good and they've got wee pockets on it so she was like sticking her phone in the side and stuff in there and then the last thing she got was a couple of tops now I'm sure one of them might be a body or are they both t-shirts did we buy the same t-shirt twice I think we did silly us basically it's a sweet t-shirt literally just a wee plain cream t-shirt and then the, the same one for whatever reason <laughs> four pounds I think one's shorter and one's longer maybe but that was everything that we got I think that was absolutely everything there was nothing else I really hope you enjoyed watching this haul guys if you did then please make sure to follow me just click the follow button here and subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments what your favorite bits were and I hope you liked seeing it all tried on as well but yeah if you're not following me already on Instagram go and follow me it's at Mama Reed, and make sure that you tell me what you enjoyed about this video and I'll make some more going forward and I'll see you really soon bye guys